lots of work to do today. I'm a little bit intimidated, not gonna lie. Today is Monday, um, basically four weeks until D-Day. Um, basically we have four weeks until school starts and so I'm heading into the classroom today to do some work and I'm gonna just bring you along. I'm gonna do a lot of um, reorganization and stuff in the classroom. Okay, what's up with my collar? Um, I'm gonna do some reorganization and stuff in the classroom, so I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along to see kind of what my process is. Um, we are moving in like, I forgot something at my house, I have to turn around. We're moving in three weeks, and so I'm really <laughs> trying to get stuff done before we move, um, because I just see potential for that just being a chaotic hot mess everything school starting within the same basically week and us trying to move and me trying to get my classroom done so I'm trying to front load a lot of the work all right so I'm gonna go grab a coffee drop my munchkins off at child care at the babysitter and then um, head to the classroom so hopefully I get a lot done today I've got a friend coming in to help me and um, I'm really hoping that I just tackle a lot of my monthly bins. Um, I did a classroom organization part one that you can go check out. I'll link it down below. But um, that was all of the um, other bins that I used for like floor time activities, um, some centers, I can't even think. Just basically all the hands-on activities. Now I'm gonna be focusing more on my monthly um, file bins that have all of the curriculum that I'm gonna use throughout the year. So basically, I just need to go through and organize. They're just a hot mess right now. I need to go through and organize them all, pull out what I can keep, you know, toss what I can't, and then um, I need to laminate and do just do a bunch of stuff today. So I'm gonna hopefully tackle all of the bins. Sorry. My goal today is to hopefully tackle all of the classroom bins the monthly file hanging bins so that um, then I can start putting the curriculum and making copies and all of that kind of stuff. So that's the goal today. I've got a friend coming in today to help me kind of organize everything, um, do a couple other projects and stuff while I'm working on the monthly bins. And then um, I'm hoping that I can get through all of the bins today. That's my goal. What would you like? Okay. Okay. Starbucks, what can I do for you? Hey, um, I'm gonna get a few things. I'm gonna get some food and a couple drinks for a friend. <laughs> and a venti ice water. Anything else for you today? Nope, that's it. Alrighty, I will see you at the window with your phone. Thanks. That was a lot of food. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just pulling in the school. I'm gonna get some stuff unloaded from the car. I have a lot of stuff in the car right now. And um, then head into the classroom. So here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at all this stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm just kind of opening all the windows, making it bright and sunny and pretty in here. My friend's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. And so we're gonna get to work. Aww. Lots to do today, I've got lots on the list. These next three days are gonna be kinda crazy. Um, so, 
here we go. Right, so my goal today is to get through all of these bins, our monthly bins with curriculum in them, but I'm transferring them to these bins. So I've got one of them kind of done. It's the October bin right here. Um, so in each bin, I put math, ELA, science, social studies, and then Bible because we are a private Christian school. And then I put all of the letters that we're going to work on this, this month. I have not done September because the bin that I um, needed was actually in my garage. That's what I had to turn around and get this morning. So I'm going to be working on that. My goal today is to get through all of these bins and organize them like this. And then, um, start prepping this week, September, October, November, and December. If I can get September, October, November, and December bins, not only organized, but all of the curriculum um, printed, cut, prepped inside of them, I will be feeling like I have accomplished so much. I'm gonna start on that this morning. So I'm gonna have my friend work on laminating stuff today while I am getting all of the bins ready. Um, so where did I stick this stuff? Oh, here. So I have a phonics bundle that I've created with Deanna Jump. And it comes, oh my goodness graciousness. Clearly I am, got a lot on the list today. But the phonics bundle comes with, I wanna try to get to these guys. Okay, um, it comes with a bunch of stuff, but one of the things that I'm going to be putting up or having my friend cut and laminate today are these guys. They are just basically the ABC cards that I'm gonna put on display in the classroom. And then um, I'm gonna work on the ABC, our ABC word wall and the word wall cards. It's a, um, I'll just give you a little sneak here, sneak peek. So um, I hook these. So each letter comes with eight words. And then I got these things from Target. And so they'll just hook on there like that. And then you can just take them off and the kids can look. And there's words in here along with pictures, Aunt, Apple, all words that start with that letter. So I'm gonna be having her finish um, that today. And so I got three of these guys um, and I just like, that you can actually take and move these down, whatever you need. Um, it's really customizable. So the other thing with this word wall is that um, the packet is um, in, so the word wall is in the Ultimate Phonics Bundle and that's found in Deanna Jump's store. I'll link it below. But these word walls um, are editable. So you can like add students' names and things to these cards. So if you had, you know, a student named Aurora, her name starts with an A, you can add her name to these, and then that's a great way to introduce the student's name, build that classroom community. So that's one of the things I'm gonna have my friend work on today. We love our mermaid pillow. My little guy wanted me to show you guys this. How are we gonna use this in the classroom? Mm. What can we do? Could you write the letter A for me? Okay. Mm. Very good. So that's one way we could use it. The phonics bundle also matches these little <laughs> labels that I made for the ABC bins. Um, I still have to get this freebie to you, but I will link it down in the description after I get it um, all ready and posted on my blog. My absolute favorite laminator is one that I got from Amazon. It's um, Amazon Basics laminator. It was $20 worth every single penny. I cannot even emphasize it enough. They also have the oh. Amazon Basics laminating sheets. Um, they come 100 to a pack. They are amazing. Um, <laughs> I referred my um, sister-in-law and so I'm borrowing one of hers today and then I have mine. Um, this is a rack I got from Ikea but this is actually like a drying rack. I'm just using it um, because I've got two plugs in the wall there. But I'm gonna set this station up, uh, a laminating station for my friend and she's just gonna be laminating and cutting and cutting and laminating some more. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on all these bins and hopefully accomplish all 10 months today. Get through all 10 months today. That would be amazing.
All right, I've got September, October, and November done. Getting there, I only have 22 months to go. <laughs> all right, so it is about 12.30. We're gonna take a break for lunch, and um, I'm like almost through February. So I have March, April, May, and June left. But the May, the March, April, May, and the May, June bin are combined. So those shouldn't take quite as long. I'm getting there. Hopefully I can finish today by like 2.30. Okay, I've got some bad news. Um, I am having second thoughts about these bins. Um, they are not my favorite, and I'm gonna show you why. So I initially got these, the monthly bins, thinking that I could put file folders in them, but like they don't, like I can put one side that works, but then the other side doesn't fit, so then they end up just being all wonky. The good news is I can just use the other bins that I was using before, so I'll just put these here. And that's like totally perfect. They fit, these bins fit in the other, you know, in the um, cabinet that I need. So I'm just gonna kind of transfer all this over. Definitely not something that I wanted to do today, but I'm just, as I'm looking at these, it's just not gonna work, sorry. They're just not gonna work in these black bins. But the good news is I needed bins for the rest of my seat cover things that I made. So, I don't have to go buy more bins because I have like eight more of these and I have all of these covers that I made that I didn't have bins for. So I guess that's good and bad news. Awesome. So I'm just gonna switch all these bins out. Okay, it makes way more sense. And, and I like these bins because they have lids, so I'm just gonna do this instead. We're gonna start putting our displays up. Got cards over here, the ABC cards. And we're gonna start putting them along this portion of the ceiling. Woohoo! I got through all the bins. What time is it? Like, can't even see over there. Is it 1.30? Oh, 1.37. It's 1.37, which means I have about an hour left until I need to hit the road. But I'm really excited because I got all the bins done. They look so good. Still have a lot more to do, like as far as like printing, prepping, and cutting and everything. But the bulk of that project is done. I can't even believe it. So those extra bins that I had, I just used for my crate seats. Oh, so I got a lot of crate seats in and I have two extra toppers, um, which I'll probably just keep these in case one or two 
of these guys wear out, it'll be nice to have an extra set on hand. All right, so I'm just cutting out the pictures and stuff for the word wall. Um, we don't have a lot of wall space in here to display like my dream word wall, but we do have um, a little area that we can um, put like a, what do they call it? Like a convertible word wall or a, tie, or a, a space saving word wall, I think. So I'm just cutting these cards. Um, my friend cut a huge stack already. I'm just wrapping this portion up and then I'm, I'm gonna get the word wall hopefully put together today too. Hey guys, okay, so it's like 2.40. Um, we've been here basically since about 10.45, so right at about four hours. Um, got a lot done today. Um, tomorrow I need to go through all the curriculum, get all the books prepped and everything, but we got the ABCs up, laminated, cut, and up. We got the word wall done. I'm really excited about this. So these just hang on the wall um, and then the kids just take the letter off that we're working on and we go through that. I do need to secure this white thing down but that's our little space saving word wall. Um, I'm going to try to get calendar stuff up. I got all of the seats done um, all around the room. Those are a couple extras. So it's kind of coming along. We're getting there. I'm pretty excited about it. It's looking pretty good. Um, I'm hoping to get a lot more done tomorrow and the next day. Tomorrow the big, so tomorrow's big push is really gonna be getting the rest of the books and the curriculum sorted and organized. Um, and, and then I have a little puppet stage area that I wanna get put together tomorrow. I have a couple things from Amazon coming, so there's quite a few things, but this was a good um, wrap up to day one. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. So today is day two of classroom organization. Um, just trying to get the classroom together and everything. I've got a lot on the list today. We're gonna be doing lots of stuff. I've got a um, couple errands to run this morning. I need to go get a printer. I've been wanting to get a printer for the classroom forever and with HP Mommy. Instant Eeks um, program, I'm gonna finally get that set up in the classroom. So that'll just be convenient to like have stuff that I can print at my fingertips in the classroom. So anyways, I'm gonna go to Costco today and get um, an instant ink printer, an HP printer. And then we've got lots of stuff in the classroom, so we're gonna go ahead, um, just kinda grab some breakfast and can then get a coffee, go to Costco, go to the bank, and go to school. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully today is as productive as yesterday was. It was like a promise. No, you're not gonna go last week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out your heart. Is ready? Let's do this! Hey guys, so it's day two of classroom organization. I say organization, it's more like classroom setup, you know. Um, and so, we have a few errands to run. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Costco just opened. So we're gonna go get a printer from Costco, but before we go to Costco, I need to go get a coffee that is an absolute most of the morning and then we're going to go get um, oh we got to stop by the bank and then we'll go to Costco go to the babysitter then go to the school so we only have 25 errands to run before we actually can get to work but it's going to be a productive day I can feel it in my bones I know it's gonna be productive um, I'm eager to <laughs> like get the stuff done so that I can start moving on to other stuff. Um, the stuff that we're doing today is really kind of like all that little stuff that like I never
never have time to do like painting the cubbies, like touching up paint in the cubbies. Um, you want to go say hi to Mr. Bunny? Oh, that sounds like fun. So we'll be doing some, we're going to be putting up some dis Yes, we will. We will get some scones. We're going to be putting up some displays and I need to keep going through the curriculum a little bit. Um, prepping the curriculum for the year. So stuff like that, like just little stuff. Um, I wanna get the puppet stage set up. That's the other thing I need to, just so many things today. So hopefully it's going to be a very productive, productive day. I've got my friend coming again today. She's gonna to be there about 10.30, so in about an hour and a half. So hopefully I can get all these errands run and then we will head to the classroom. Could I swing by today and get that puppet stage? I would like to get it set up today if that's okay. Thank you, voice to text. Okay, we ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, over here, guys. Let's grab a cart. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. Okay, coffee is done, bank is done. We're heading to Costco now. And I hope they open at nine. I should probably check. Okay, let's pull over here. Pulling over. Seeing what time Costco opens. Perfect. She can bring the puppet stage at 10. Make the keys. You wanna what? I wanna make keys. You wanna make keys? I don't wanna make the keys. That's so random. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so random. How do you spell Costco? Costco. Hmm, let's see. They open it. Open at 10. No! Oh my goodness. That ruins my plans for the morning. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Mommy well, got her plans crushed. I wonder what time Sam's. Oh! Mm -hmm. I wonder what time Sam's Club opens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sam's Club opens at 10, but I'm a business member through Sam's. So I'm gonna see if I can get in Sam's Club early and get a printer. Do you think it's gonna work? I think. Who wants to kiss me my chunky face? Who wants to kiss you on your chunky face? I wanna kiss you on your chunky face. Okay, here we go. See people going in. I think it's gonna work. Remember, you have to take me to a free first. Yes, it says early hours. Yay! What? All right, let's go, guys. Early entrance for our business members. Okay, I see him over there. Yay, okay, so we're looking for HP, these guys right here. Awesome! Actually, this is the one that I have at my house and I really like it. I might just do this one. This one is 123. The normal price is 169, awesome, so it's... Oh, dude, it's on sale right now for $46 cheaper. Score! Okay, this is adorable. How cute is that? How fun would that be for the classroom? Really fun. I am going here. So the button, you're gonna scan it. Can you scan that right there? Like a little bit back. Yes. And this one, can you scan that? Yeah. Yay, you did it. We came, we saw, we bought. Thank you. Alrighty, so we've got the printer, we've got 
the diapers. <laughs> and hey. <laughs> and we, it is 9.35. I forgot my battery to my camera, my, my extra battery. Um, so I'm gonna swing back by my house. We're only a mile away, so it's um, pretty much on the way to the babysitter. And then to the classroom. So, so far it's a pretty good morning. So far I feel pretty confident that this is gonna be a good day. So I decided to stop at Party City and grab a couple things for our bulletin, um, like our big display bulletin board. And then we have like a pole in the classroom that I'm gonna make a tree. So I just grabbed a brown um, tablecloth. It's like a plastic tablecloth that I'm gonna wrap around the tree. And I'm right now I'm looking for like um, things for the bulletin board, so. <laughs> and little man found some glasses. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm looking for here. So I just saw these glitter fans and they are exactly the colors that I need. They're $5.99, so I think this is perfect. Oh, those are Mom, cute too. Can I get this? All right, so I found some really cute things that are gonna match the colors. They have some paper lanterns, pennant banners. These are only a couple bucks each. Um, paper lantern, more paper lanterns. And then they have these glitter fans and these tissue paper fans. So a lot of them come in that like the same color scheme that we have in the classroom. So we're gonna use these for bulletin boards and to decorate the classroom. All right, so we just got done with Party City. We're gonna head to the school now and uh, get to work. Day two in the classroom. Oops, is it focused? Focused on no sun. Okay, um, we are gonna go ahead and hop in with everything. We're just starting. The goal today is um, to get through all of the books, organizing the books. We're going to put a puppet stage up here. Um, my master teacher found this like $140 puppet stage for $10 at a garage sale and we have this little closet here so we're gonna convert that into a puppet stage. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then I went to earlier Party City and we're gonna try to put some banners up and stuff. So those are the big goals today. We'll see how, oh and then the last thing is too, we wanna um, paint in the cubbies here. There's like some places that are chipped paint that's chipped and stuff. And so we're gonna hopefully get that done today too. So there we go, all right. I'll keep in touch. So we got the puppet stage set up. It's um, got like a little retractable thing. It's super cute, but then it came with all these fun little puppets. Look at the little finger puppets. Those are so cute. <laughs> we put um, the seat, the bins in there. They were a little bit tight, but then inside the bins are all the other puppets. And then the puppet stage has these pockets and stuff. So 10 bucks, can't beat it. The kids are gonna have a blast with that. It's 1240 and things are coming along really well. Um, my friend is painting, just touching up the cubbies. I just installed this wireless doorbell. That's gonna be used for transition time and I love this because I can put this on a lanyard around my neck and I can literally be all the way over here and the doorbell is like over there behind that printer. Okay, light, hang on. There we go. You just have to point it at it, but then, um, but then it'll go off and I can be in reading groups and the kids hear that and they know to transition. So that's something new that we added this year. So we're gonna just keep trucking along. Uh, we got the bulletin board, this one papered and bordered. We're gonna try to get that big one papered and bordered today, finish up the cubbies and just kind of straighten up. Everything's kind of messy right now, it's my fault. <laughs> But um, everything's coming along really well, and I've already gone through um, the curriculum, which was my big goal today, and um, so everything's coming along really well, and um, I think by tomorrow, I'm gonna be feeling a lot better. The only th other thing that I 
am like a little bit kind of dreading is having to, this is like my to-do stack in here. This is all stuff that I kind of need to like redo and update. So that's going to take me some time. Um, but I, oh, I got the printer too. I need to set that up as well. Um, so I'm going to try to get this set up, the bulletin board done, and the and then uh, my friend's going to finish hopefully painting the cubbies today. And I will feel like we've accomplished a lot if all that gets done. making noise. Oh. Is it gonna work? Yay! It's working! Alrighty, so it is about 3.45. I took a little break. I had to go pick up my munchkin, and he's just gonna sit in here and play. The classroom is put enough... The classroom is put together enough for him to actually enjoy himself, so... Um, He's playing over there with a the little marble maze run thing. So I'm just going to try to wrap up a couple of the projects. We got really far today. We got all the painting. Is that so fun? We got all the painting done, which was a big job. Um, so basically we went and just kind of touched up these cubbies. These were built custom last year for um, the classroom. And so um, we got all of those touched up and painted. And then we had another little cubby over in this area. Are you focused? Yeah, it was good. I got the printer set up over here, and then we got the puppet stage set up here. I also got, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Is the camera focused? I can't tell. So we also got this up. So I'm gonna try to finish this bulletin board. The hardest part was, you okay? The hardest part is like getting the black butcher paper up, but that's done. So I'm just gonna like trim it out and make it, uh, put it all together and everything. So, um, and then I need to sit down and basically write out the rest of the stuff that's on my to-do list. I got this um, teacher toolbox. It's a little bit disheveled right now just because I've been in and out of it so much but I need to print off a couple more. I got this from, who did I get this from? I can see her face. I'm gonna link it down below, but she makes all of these adorable, um, like they, she makes all of these labels and stuff for this. So she's got lots of different options. So I actually ordered another one of these on Amazon. So I'm gonna have two, but I need to go through, this is my job tomorrow for sure. I'm like tackling this because um, I need to get this all organized and stuff. But, um, and then at the end of today, I need to just basically sit down and make like my to-do list of everything that I need to do to wrap up the actual setup of the classroom. Now that I have a printer in the classroom, I can tackle this pile. This is all stuff that just basically needs to kind of be remade. I need to print off a couple of the kids' pictures and start thinking in that and along those lines. So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I will do like a recap here in a little bit before I leave, but um, it's been it's been a pretty productive day. If I could rate this day like one to 10, I'd probably rate it like nine and a half. And I had another field trip confirmed today. <laughs> like I try to schedule field trips over the summer, but in kindergarten, we go on like a field trip a month. It's basically eight to nine field trips. And so this year we're going on eight field trips. Scheduling all of that over the summertime is seriously a lifesaver. My master teacher who is helping me this year um, gave me that tip. And so I'm so glad she said that because I cannot even, it's hard enough doing this stuff over the summer. I can't even imagine doing it over the school year. So anyways, I have one more field trip to confirm and then all of my field trips for the entire year are confirmed. So that was like a little bonus today. 
Okay, so I just finished kind of trimming this out. This looks terrible. Like, this is probably the worst bulletin board that I've ever done. It is not even detail. I mean, I put like clear tape on it. The reason is because it's an old whiteboard and so I can't like poke holes in it. I have to use tape. So now I'm like, well, how am I gonna put the borders on? And so I think what I'm gonna do, because um, I think what I'm gonna do is use Velcro. I got all these little Velcro things. Yeah, that's so fun. I got a bunch of Velcro at the dollar store, so I think I'm gonna use this to put the borders on. We'll see how it works. Make a black pop. You're so silly. Instead of the picture. Yeah, but don't touch it, okay? So I finished it. It's not like 100% the best one that I've ever done, but I do have to say the fact that it's a whiteboard and I could not staple nail or anything into it and really used only tape and Velcro, I feel like it turned out really good. I'm going to, um, like this is my least favorite part. I'm gonna try to cover that seam up with, um, I have some road themed tape that I'm gonna try to use. So anyways, that's what the bordered bulletin board looks like. And I didn't do one on the bottom just because it wouldn't show if I did and I feel like that that looks fine, so. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna start working on um, is putting some just like decor up. I wanted to um, put these fans up. I wanna expand these fans first of all. I got these from Party City earlier from the shopping trip. And um, I'm just gonna see what they look like on that bulletin board. So I'm just gonna open them up and kinda lay them out on the table for right now. And I forgot my tripod, so I'm gonna just put you down on the table. Okay, love that. That's really cute. got it up and decorated um, turned out pretty good I think I also put some lanterns up in the corner here um, I got those at the party city too so I'm really just kind of wrapping up today we're gonna go home and get some dinner um, it's been a big day got a lot done today I feel like tomorrow uh, I'm just gonna wrap up a couple things I'm gonna put the calendar up and things um, and it's gonna start feeling real, I think, because I'm gonna start um, customizing all the name tags and everything. Oh, I can't believe it. Hopefully all this hard work pays off. I hope the kids love the environment. You know, they say like a classroom should be like home away from home. And I think, you know, having a cute classroom is, is fun, but really having a functional classroom is the most important thing and I really, hope that this is a functional space uh, for the upcoming school year. Um, I may end up tweaking a couple things, I'm not sure, but um, I'm feeling really good about it right now, so. The last thing that I need to do before I leave is I wanna sit down and basically write out what I want to do tomorrow. Um, I cannot believe this, like it's starting to feel 
like a classroom what um and then after i write down everything that i want to do tomorrow then i'm going to go home get some dinner spend some time with the family so it's coming to life ah! my husband offered to take the kids for a couple hours so that i could just stay a couple hours extra and get a couple more things done so i'm putting up the calendar i'm gonna link this calendar down in the description and um, this is a new one for us but basically what i did was i got the calendar at Lakeshore Learning. I laminated it. And then the calendar pieces are from, I think it's Learning in Wonderland. I'll link her below. But I love these because she um, also recommended these sticky clips. Um, so basically they just slide in and they are, um, doop. they are reusable. So they have like, I don't know if, I, if you can see. Is it gonna focus? So they have like a wax backing, and then they, the students just slide the pieces in. So I'm in the process of kind of putting them all on the days, and then the students will just take the number and slide it in like that. Is that super easy, no Velcro, and you can reuse these. So I really like that she recommended that. I'll link these sticky clips down below so that you know um, where to find them. I'll link the Amazon link down below. But so I'm just gonna try to get this up tonight. Um, I have about another hour and a half in here. So I'll just kind of keep vlogging, I guess. I thought the vlog was over but for today, but that's, that's life. And if I can get more done, then that means I don't have to do it later. I got most of it up. I ran out of sticky clips, so I need to buy more of those. Um, down here, I'm gonna put the weather and then like, um, cause that's what's missing from the calendar. Um, and then I'm going to put birthdays um, up here so that we can keep track of birthdays and stuff. But that's basically it. Um, the piggy bank is the one from the uh, Bullseye's Playground, the dollar spot, I did a Target haul video on that. I'll link that below, but that's where I got that from. And then the rest of this calendar stuff is from Learning in Wonderland. I'll link her below too. So um, I will let you know once I do my classroom tour, this will totally be complete, but that's just a sneak peek. And then I just wrapped this pole with, um, this is a tablecloth, plastic tablecloth that I got from the Party City earlier. Um, this pole is carpeted. You can kind of take a sneak peek there, but it really makes it look a lot nicer. And the reason I wrapped it is because we make this a big tree. So I put like brown tissue paper and butcher paper and a bunch of stuff. So this is just kind of the base of everything, but um, I got that done too. Alrighty, it's like almost seven o'clock and I've been here all day. I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna go um, go grab some dinner from the grocery store um, and then go home and see my family, my little guys, and my husband. I got a lot done today though. Seriously, I got way more done than I thought. But um, I only have my friend coming one more day to help out, so really getting as much as I can done with her here is like awesome that is the goal so <sighs> I'm excited I think it's gonna be really fun um I don't know how much like I want to show you guys because I want to do like an official classroom tour video so um I'll probably vlog a little bit tomorrow and then wait to show you like the full classroom after I have um, set everything up like officially uh, for the classroom tour. So anyways, I'm tired. I wanna go home. It's been a long, long productive day, but um, today was a good day. So it's really starting to feel like real, you know? So anyways, all right, here's to a good day.
you. Appreciate it. Alrighty, day three. This morning is like, it's like early. Like I can't even formulate a sentence right now. It's 6.40 in the morning. And I just grab my coffee, I'm heading to school. Um, I do have to work for this summer program for a couple hours until nine o'clock. So I'll be doing that this morning. Um, and then after that, I'll be heading into the classroom. I am not anticipating that today is going to be as long as yesterday. Honestly, yesterday, I for, I didn't eat yesterday. I literally worked the entire time, the entire day, and didn't eat. I know you've been there. I know you, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I know you've been there. Um, and so I promised myself that I would not do that today. And, uh, and I'm not going to. So I'm probably only gonna be there till like 2.30ish. Um, and then, and then I'm gonna leave, so. <sighs> because I got home yesterday and I was a hot mess. I was so tired, I was hungry, I was hangry. And I don't like to be like that when I get home with the family, so. Um, I got some food at the grocery store and stuff, but I literally was like, a zombie walking around the grocery store. I was so tired. I was like so hungry and I just, you know how when you're really hungry and you go into the grocery store and you just wanna buy everything you see? That was me yesterday. So they say not to go into the grocery store when you're hungry and I broke the rule. So I'm not gonna do that again. So I'm sure a few of you are wondering why I'm getting the classroom ready a month before school starts. Um, and the answer is really simple. We are actually moving on, at the end of this month, we are moving the week of our orientation, like our teacher orientation. Yeah, I know, crazy, huh? We didn't have like say so over the date that we were allowed to get into the house. And so it just, the, the dates just kind of fell like that. Um, so my thought is I need to get into the classroom the beginning of the month so that when it is crazy at the end of the month and I can't find any of my stuff because we're moving, um, I won't have hopefully as many issues. So, you know, good news is we don't have a lot of stuff. We don't have a huge house. We're pretty simple people. So hopefully, I mean, I know it's gonna be crazy. I, it, you know, moving is moving. I consider myself a pretty organized person and so, a lot of the stuff at the house is organized. And so we're probably, I'm hoping that we have an easier time moving. Um, okay, this is hilarious. I look like Tape Face. Have you guys ever seen Tape Face on, Amer I think it's America's Got Talent. It's got the like whole, anyways. Um, so that's why I'm getting into the classroom the beginning of the month versus like when I would normally want to get into the classroom. Um, if I can get the bulk, you know, the heavy lifting done now, then I'll feel good about going into the rest of the month. So um, I do still need to get, you know, like I really want to get a lot of the um, like prepping and cutting and stuff like that done like when we do craft we do so many hands-on activities like crafts and stuff and so I would love to get a lot of that done um, you know towards the beginning of this month this week next week so that um, when I start the year off I have a good chunk of stuff ready to go so that you know it's gonna be just a crazy time um, the first couple weeks of school you just get home and you're just like a zombie you know it's like you're training little ones it's all good, it's all good stuff, but um, you just use a lot of your words during the day. So, if you're wondering, that's why, that's why I am working so hard right now to get the classroom in order an entire month before school starts. So when I left the classroom yesterday, I was so tired, I totally forgot my computer in the classroom, which is a good thing because when I got home, I didn't work um if i had and like literally i put the kids to bed and thought oh i need to get on my computer and do a couple things and my laptop wasn't there so i actually just went to bed and it was 
it was a good thing. So I'm gonna go grab my laptop really quick from the classroom and then um, head up to the summer program. The summer program is like wrapping up. There's only like a week or two left of it. So we need to like kind of do some reorganizing and kind of pack up some of this stuff um, from this summer. So that's gonna kind of be on my list this morning. And then after that, I will be heading to the classroom to get some more work done. Literally half of my bulletin board fell down overnight. I had huge fans in the corner. <sighs> Day three has begun. So I just got done in the summer program. I'm gonna hang out in here for a little bit and then I gotta drop my little guy off at um, childcare at the babysitter. And then I'm gonna come back and meet my friend here. She's gonna be here around 10.30. So it's just after nine right now. I'm gonna kick my shoes off. So I'm gonna work a little bit, probably kind of get a list going of like what we need to get done today. Drop my little guy off at the babysitter and then, um, and then come back and get to work. I've been here for about 30 minutes. I'm, um, I've made a long list. You can see that? Long list of things to do today. I hope we can get them all done. I'm gonna go drop my munchkin off at the babysitter and then we're gonna, I, I need to go to the um, couple stores. This is my to-do list. Um, when I'm out, I wanna get a couple things for, um, just, I just need to grab a couple things. Like I need to go to Walmart, I need to go to my goals. So I'm gonna go run those errands and then come back and get to work. I have um, an order that I was wondering if you guys would be willing to do. I would like to put the word kindergarten um, on my door, um, but in very large letters. So like 18 inches by six feet tall. Um, I was wondering if I, if you guys would do something like that. Like I have the file already made, it's a PNG. And so I would just need the letters cut out in black and then backed with um, the transfer paper. I forgot to mention that I'm gonna try to put vinyl on my door. I have a Cricut, um, it's a vinyl cutting machine. You may have also heard of a silhouette, but um, the letters that I wanna put up are huge and while my Cricut could cut it, um, I would prefer just to go buy a vinyl sign. So I have a place that I actually go get free vinyl scraps from and if you have a Cricut and um, you have never heard of this tip, I, I'm excited that I'm the one sharing it, but Basically what I did a couple years ago when I got my Cricut was I called a bunch of stores in the area like vinyl stores and I basically said um, I'm a teacher in you know in the area and I'm wondering if you have any scrap vinyl that you'd be willing to donate because I create a lot of projects and stuff for my classroom I have a, a machine and even the kids can cut the vinyl out and use it as stickers that kind of thing and I've had several places say that they have extra vinyl and sometimes vinyl will expire um, and they're no longer able to sell the vinyl um, just because then it's not under warranty or whatever and so they have given me full humongous bolts of vinyl like I'm not kidding like hundreds of dollars worth of vinyl um, and a lot of the vinyl that I have actually at my house and stuff is from these types of places um, so that's a great way to get free vinyl for your machines. Now, as I've picked up vinyl, I've kind of established relationship with one store in particular, and Cindy is the lady's name. Um, now, I haven't been there in a few months, but every time I call, she knows exactly who I am. Um, I have a huge walled, uh, mirrored wall in my house, and I had, um, her cut out a huge scripture verse uh, from the Bible and put it and so basically what they do is they cut out the vinyl and then they mat they put it um, the backing on it is like this clear transfer tape and I only spent about $18 on the um, vinyl that's on my mirror and so I just called her and to see how much it would cost for me to get the vinyl cut and backed um, for my kindergarten classroom door and she said only about 12 bucks and so for me it saves me so much time I don't have to get my Cricut out and set up and figure out all the letters and stuff I'm like for $12 like I it is 100% worth 
the money to go get this huge classroom vinyl sign for my door and so I'm gonna go probably I just emailed her the image and so I'm gonna um, just wait to hear back from her but hopefully I can pick that up today and then get that on the door as well Oh no, are they out? These guys, yes. Okay. Oh man, that's all they have. Hidden behind. I found a whole other box, yay. So they have the D and the A. I need R and an E. I'm gonna see if there's other letters somewhere. Here's some. I think they're too small. Grr. Okay, so they have these. I need an R now. What is going on? Is that seriously Christmas stuff? I need an R. Score. Okay, I think these might work. Um, cute. Okay, let's lay them out and see. Love it, it's perfect. Hey, how's it going? Alrighty, so I'm back in the classroom and we're just kind of wrapping up some things. I'm doing some last minute painting and organizing our craft cabinet. Um, I think after the end of today, I'm gonna feel really good like the classroom is ready to go. So I don't wanna give away too much because I am gonna do a classroom tour, but I wanna make sure that um, you kind of get a sneak peek into today. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing with the crafts. So I was storing all of the craft materials in bins like this, but we are moving them over to these binder pouches that I got for 49 cents at Walmart. And so we just put all of the same types of, oh there, the other pile. Um, like all of the beads go in one. Like we put all of the beads in one, all of the balloons in one, that kind of thing. And then I have two drawers down here that fit these. And then it's really easy just to grab the the bag that you need and um, really easy to see through too. They're clear, cheap, really cheap um, option for organizing your craft materials. All right, so I just got the email from the lady that um, has the vinyl shop and she said that the vinyl letters are ready so I'm gonna go pick that up. It's only like $19 um, and it's a little bit extra. I thought it was gonna be 12 but it's a little bit extra because of the backing that she's gonna put on. She's putting transfer tape on, which I'll show you when I put it on the door. It makes it so easy, but still 20 bucks for a huge door sign that is already backed and cut. It saves me so much time and I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna go grab that drink my coffee on the way, and then um, head back to the classroom and put the vinyl on the door. Alrighty, so I just pulled it into this sign shop. We're gonna see how it, how it plays out. You wanna open it? Um, sure, that's so fun. Tape together. Oh my goodness, how fun is this? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. We're gonna put this on the door. Oh my goodness. So this is what we're going for, uh -huh. and they backed it and everything. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so cute. I'm so excited to get it on the door. Yay, thank you so much. Yay, we're gonna have so much fun. Thanks again, <laughs> we'll see ya, bye. Alrighty guys, so I'm back in the classroom and I've got the kindergarten word just taped on the door, but I'm going to actually apply it now. So I'm gonna do a time-lapse video here and just kind of talk you through, walk you through how I do this. Again, this is only 19 bucks. Total time saver, life saver. It's gonna make that door look 
popping and I'm really excited about it. So here we go. Okay. Awesome. And so it's a shiny vinyl, which will be really nice because it'll be easy to wipe down and it won't like have fingerprints or anything like that. So awesome. All right, so I'm literally just wrapping up. We are just gonna vacuum, and not everything is 100% done, but if I show you what we've done, it's gonna blow the classroom reveal video. So I just don't wanna show you everything um, quite yet. So I'm gonna post the classroom reveal video next Friday, so make sure that you subscribe and stick around so that you can get a notification when I upload that video. It's looking pretty cute in here. I'm pretty proud and pretty excited. I think the kids, honestly, are gonna have so much fun and I hope that the flow of the classroom, the functionality of the classroom is here as well. I really tried to double up on a lot of different things, like dual purposes for things, you know, having seats that have storage and, well, I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, just being really practical about everything. So please stick around, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, if you want to connect, I've linked all of my social media accounts down below, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, teachers pay teachers all of that kind of stuff. I've also linked a lot of the products that I talked about um, In the description as well, so you can check those out if you'd like feel free to shoot me a message I would love to connect with you and I will see you in the next video The next video is going to be the big classroom reveal so stick around and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye